Hey guys, Magnus Robert here. I'm doing a, another video. This one I'm purposely just focusing on the season 33 prize track as a whole and kind of my overall opinions of this tactic and of this new feature of adding basically a prize track that has episode tie-ins on it. Now, we're going to talk about sort of how it's structured, we're going to talk about potential episodes that we're going to be getting, potential episodes we're not going to be getting, and yeah, we'll just talk about all of it, and then at the end I want to kind of give my overall opinions about pretty much, I'll, I'll be straight up with you, how happy I am that they've actually added this. So let's start by talking about the structure of it, and as, as well as we'll talk about some like future stuff that has been revealed. So the prize track is here, obviously, and the obviously the first prize was Sasha Reed. Go check out my episode time review for that if you haven't already, where I basically you know, talk about the pros and cons of the Sasha Reed and the uh, the star of the backstage episode tie-in. Now. The structure is pretty much just like a mini update, but it's kind of like each part is obviously unlocked uh, with each episode. So it's just one part for each episode, which I actually like the fact they're utilizing it, but I'm a little, uh, I don't know, part of me kind of wishes they did something a bit different to introduce this, like using the mini update structure yet again, because they already, they do it for multi events. It's just mini updates repeated four times. Obviously, they do it for mini updates, and now they're doing it for the episode tie-ins. Part of me is like, oh god, can we just have a different structure, please? Can we have something different? But then I guess at the same time, it's fairly easy to get, so I can't complain too much. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, old episode tie-ins tended to just be either something was added to the store that was donuts, or... Occasionally, they'd give you like a free decoration, and then something else was added as donuts. They used to do that a lot. Where you know, I I'm trying to think back, but I remember the Ha Ha Land one with the Brendan, whatever his name was, the Ed Sheeran character. They added like a decoration, like a really crappy decoration for free, and then the uh, Ed Sheeran's character was like premium with a building, which was a little annoying. So, uh, part of me is kind of really glad that they're actually just making it all free. There isn't any premium content for anyone. Like, it, it's just everyone gets a chance to get the, the items, which I actually really like that aspect. It's cool that they are making it available for every player, pretty much. And they're not trying to be, like, scummy and, um, you know, charge, like, extra. Which I'd be fine with. Like, I'd be cool if they added, like, one thing to the store for donuts. Like, if we got... You know, Sasha Reed, say for example, we got Sasha Reed as the main character, and then they just added like a skin for Marge, like the backstage Marge in the store. That would be kind of like, I'd be cool with that entirely. That would be kind of awesome. Um, yeah, but in terms of uh, this structure, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm happy enough with it, but I kind of wish they would do something a bit different with it, uh, just to spice it up. Now, let's talk about what we're going to be getting in the future. So, there's only one thing that they've managed, the people at the wiki, the good people at the wiki, managed to reveal. And apparently, we're going to be getting the Parasite House from the Treehouse of Horror episode. So, the Treehouse of Horror episode is going to have a segment in there where it's just basically going to be a parody of the film Parasite that came out in 2019, I think. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, 2019. And, uh, of course, it won an Oscar as well. Uh, it won the Best Picture Oscar. Uh, and so this is going to be a parody of the Parasite film. And we're going to be getting the Parasite house. So we don't, I don't think there's been any images of what exactly this looks like. But that will be added, obviously, when that after the Treehouse of Horror airs. Which is uh, pretty cool, actually. It's awesome they're carrying on doing this. What's kind of weird, though, is they are just straight up skipping a episode. I think a lot of people kind of thought that maybe they were doing, um, when this first got, like, released, people kind of were speculating that maybe this is going to be every week we're going to be getting one. Uh, but it doesn't appear to be, because the Parasite House is part two of the prize draft, apparently. And there is an episode in between, the premiere and the Tree of Horror, and that's uh, Bart in, Bart's in Jail. So it appears that they're going to be skipping this episode, and then just go into Treehouse of Horror. And I imagine they'll probably keep this uh, 
they might keep this trend up. So they might skip the episode after Trials of Horror, which is going to be the two way we were. And I'm not sure, obviously, the episode after that has not been like revealed yet. But yeah, they possibly might be just straight up skipping every other episode and then doing every other episode essentially which i'm fine with hey i'm not gonna complain because at the end of the day getting getting this is really awesome so uh yeah i'm cool with it so overall what are my opinions on the season 33 prize track as a whole it's like an overarching umbrella review for all of the updates to come so don't worry i'm gonna be doing a review for when we get the trias of horror one and when we get the ones in the future uh, like I said before, we're not sure exactly how long they're going to be doing this for. So far, we know that there's going to be at least five parts. So it will be a five, a full five-part uh, quest line, a uh, prize track, like uh, every mini-update, basically. But it's... I mean, I, I feel like they might just close it off with five parts, but it's possible. I don't know how possible, but it's possible that we could be getting more. As in, they might do, like... You know, a part 6, part 7, part 8, part 9, part 10. I, I mean, a part of me feels like they're just going to close it off with part 5. Because, you know, it kind of parallels quite nicely to, like, events. But it would be really cool if they could extend it. So, we're obviously going to be getting 5 parts. So, that's... If, if we go by that they're going to be skipping an episode. So, we'll get one for episode 1, which we've already got. One for episode 3. One for episode 5. One per, for episode 7, and one for episode 9, and then they'll stop it, so the last one will be for episode 9. I don't know, you're missing half the season there, so I think like it could be really cool if they extended it to 10 parts, but we'll have to see. Uh, but uh, even if they don't, hey, I actually love this a lot. I feel like this, this is so awesome, especially that I think, I believe it's just going to be running alongside the uh, Trias of Horror uh, event. I really do hope that as well. If this is like replace the Trials of Horror event, oh boy, I'll be mad. But hopefully the Trials of Horror event, uh, you know, that drops eventually. We get that event and this kind of just runs alongside. I mean, it's not, like I said, it wasn't very difficult to get. So I very much doubt that this is like replacing it or anything. I imagine this is, like I said, just going to run alongside. Also, I'm pretty sure it's like exclusive. Like you can just unlock it throughout the season. Like I don't imagine they're going to close off part one. If you haven't unlocked Slash or Read in the future. Like, yeah, it's going to be, you know, the, the the potential to get this stuff is going to be there. And if they're skipping every, epi over every other episode, that's an entire two weeks to get something. That's, like, more than enough time to get, like, one prize. So, yeah, um, I'm very happy with this overall. Like I said, I think the Season 33, 33 prize track is a really great idea. And I'm glad they're doing it. I can't wait to see the future content to come. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on the Season 33 prize track, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.